what's up guys Brian here so this is the uh, all dumbbell superset workout that I just did for my arms um, I started this workout off with the seated uh, static Zotman curls for four sets and I'm gonna be supersetting this exercise with a tricep so as you can see right here I'm doing the rotation on the top of the movement um, getting a lot of forearm activation and biceps at the same time and I'm actually seated off the bench a little bit here so I got some stability going on I'm doing 10 reps with each arm and then I'm going to jump straight into the tricep exercise, which I'm going to show you next. I'm moving that bench to the incline, and I'm doing a static kickback, okay? So I'm alternating um, 10 reps with each arm right here. And for these kickbacks, I'm doing a slight rotation on top. You can kind of see it right there. I'm trying to do my palms up to the ceiling. Um, I get a deeper contraction doing that. So basically, I'm doing the bicep, tricep, and then I'm going to be resting about 60 seconds here. So I repeated this for four sets for the first superset. All right, and then I'm gonna be showing you the next superset I went into. We're using that same same bench here. I'm doing an incline curl combo. So basically I start off with five reps with each arm. So you can see right here I'm doing five reps on the left and I'm gonna be doing five reps on the right. Um, the trick with this incline curl is just really trying to focus on keeping those elbows um, pointing straight down to the ground as I curl, right? So, and I'm getting five reps right here with the right. And then to continue this combo, I'm doing five reps on each arm now, or alternate reps. Okay, just trying to keep that tension on my arms here. And I, the great thing about this one, it really pushes the muscles past the limit. Uh, my, my body's definitely not used to this, so it shocks my arms for sure, you know. And then I'm going to be doing the last part of the combo, which is five reps on both arms. So that's the bicep portion of the second exercise. And then I'm going to be supersetting this with my tricep exercise, which I'm just going to use the same bench here. Okay, and I'm actually doing standing. It's an incline skull crusher combo. Same combo I just did for the biceps. Um, I'm standing so I have more room on the top of my head for those dumbbells to come back, right? So doing five reps on the right, five reps on the left to start off. And then I'm going to be doing five alternate reps. And right here, I'm just trying to focus on my elbows pointing up to the ceiling. They can flare out a little bit. Um, you can see my elbows flare out slightly, but I'm just trying to get the tension constantly on my triceps. And then I'm going to be ending the combo with five reps on both arms, and then I'm going to rest 60 seconds. And then I'll repeat that superset for four sets. Definitely a shocker right there for both biceps triceps. Ending off the superset workout, I'm going to be doing kneeling plate curls, half reps. So I'm, I have a pad for my knees, and I'm my um, hamstrings are actually off my calves right here so I'm kneeling straight up and with the plate curl um, I'm only doing half reps here because I'm just trying to focus on my peaks contracting so basically movement with the wrist is the most important thing um, as I curl that up you can see my wrist or my palms are pointing towards the ceiling the whole entire time right so I'm only coming halfway down very good contraction on that and then I'm super setting with kneeling overhead extension so I'm using that same pad for my knees flipping this weight up Elbows will flare out just slightly, and I'm just getting that deep stretch. So I'm using my stability muscles here too to uh, get the triceps going. And that was it. That was the super set. I'm going to be resting after this, and then repeat this for four sets. Uh, guys, also, if you are um, stuck in that plateau and you need a little help pushing through, check out that membership workout program that I offer at wrenchhawspt.com. Um, and uh, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.